Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to easily transfer photos from your Android to your iPhone and vice versa. So the main problem um, between transferring anything between iOS and Android is you cannot use AirDrop uh, on Android and then you can't use this Samsung ripoff of AirDrop on iOS. However, there is a site which essentially is AirDrop but in the browser and it's insanely cool. So with that being said, let's get started. First step. Um, on your iPhone, go to settings and make sure you're connected to the same Wi-Fi network as Android. Also make sure in VPN settings, you turn off any VPNs that you have connected and you also turn off any cellular networks. Now on the Android phone, again, you want to make sure you're on the same Wi-Fi network, but also make sure um, any, um, you know, mobile networks are disabled. So I will just make sure you turn uh, the network off, but also make sure VPN is disabled. Usually, if there's like a key at the top right ish here, that means the VPN is connected. Just open any VPN app you have and then just close out of here. Then the next step is we're going to go to the website, which I'll probably forget to put in the description, but it's very easy to type. So, what we're going to do is snapdrop.net. That is the website. So, snapdrop.net. So, we'll go to this website and then we'll also go to the site on the iPhone. And here's the deal. Currently, um, you know, the iPhone can't recognize the Android and vice versa. So we're just going to uh, refresh the page on iOS and refresh the page on Android. And it really should be showing up. So let me just check. I'm actually on the right network. Okay, you can see I didn't even follow my own instructions. I was on the wrong Wi-Fi. So I'm on TP-Link on the phone. And now let's try again. Boom. That's what we want to see. So if we're going to transfer from iOS to Android, we'll just tap on the phone and then we can choose where the photo is from. So I'll go photo library and I'm going to transfer this beautiful picture on my MacBook. Smash that right now for this picture, right? And you just tap on done. And now it's going to transfer to the Android phone. And you see file received. We'll just tap on save, open. And now that's the exact same photo from my iOS device. Now, if I want to transfer multiple photos from iOS to Android, we do the same step. Or we do photo library and you can actually just hold down so if i just go like this boom 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 and you should be able to swipe across just like that so you can see swipe and it will transfer all of it at once so i'm going to unselect all these um i just want to show you the process so that's how you transfer um from the iphone but if you're using the android it's a very similar process you just tap on the phone and then you choose files and then you just choose these triple lines and then you have images this is from your images area and so if we go camera there's all the images my lovely face <laughs> um but uh let's just choose look look how cool i am here um we'll just choose this and you can see right now it's not doing anything if this happens that means the connection dropped so you just refresh the page on both devices android and ios and we'll transfer that photo again so there we go. Now you see it's transferring. So we'll just tap on save and then download. Make sure you download it. You tap on the downloads, tap on it. And so you can see <laughs> that's me covered in toilet roll. And then I have a, uh... <laughs> anyway, um, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did smash like, if you want to transfer multiple photos from Android to iOS, I don't think it's actually possible. Uh, let's just have a try together, right? If I can't figure out, you might not. So Oh, you just long press on one and then you can select all of them. All right, awesome. So, yeah, that covers everything. See you guys later. Bye-bye.